Next up is something you're probably wondering, oh, why are you showing me that? Everyone has that. But what's unique about this ELO album is it's sealed. So I was happy to find a nice sealed copy of, of one of my favorites from ELO, a new world record. Here's a great band. If you like uh, Guided by Voices, you'll know Matt Sweeney um, started this band up called Chavez. Um, these two are represses. Um, I have the first presses on, on, of both on Matador, um, but these are the uh, represses that I usually play. I don't usually play the first presses of this one, um, and, uh, but they're both great. Uh, this is the first one here, um, Ride the Fader, and then the second one, um, uh, Gone Glimmering. So, I'm sorry, did I do that backwards? Yes. Gone Glimmerings is first one, I apologize. And then the second one by Chavez is Ride the Fader, which is actually my favorite one. This one's awesome. They're both great, but this one's the best. And by the way, if you like GBB, um, G, uh, Got It By Voices, GBB, you will love Chavez. Another cool pickup was uh, one of my favorite albums of the year released um, on, in 2013 on Fat Possum. This is Youth Lagoon, Wondrous Bug House. And man, is this incredible. It sounds, uh, the dude who, um, who uh, produced uh, Animal Collective and, and some other bands, um, I believe Deer Hunter, um, I, f I forgot his first name, Alan, Tim Allen, Tom Allen, Ted Allen, something like that. But he produced this and boy, is this amazing. It sounds like a, a mix of um, Mercury Rev, a little bit of Roller Skate Skinny, and a little bit of uh, Animal Collective. And boom, you have Wondrous Bug House by Youth Lagoon. Check it out. And a great uh, first press of Parallel Lines by Blondie. This is a first club pressing. Uh, this is the um, Columbia Record Club, CRC. And this is Gem Mint. Really happy to find this out in the wild. Great album. This is Blondie's best, I think. And we have some seven inches. Uh, Kurt Baker. <coughs> if you're wondering who Kurt Baker is, um, it, it's he's like an Elvis Elvis Costello type. So his music sounds a lot like um, Elvis Costello's poppier moments. You would love it if you like Elvis Costello. Um, Blinker the Star. This is cool. It's got like a like a glittery metallic cover. Blink of a Star, ah, kind of remind, it, it was an indie pop uh, rock band from the 90s, mid 90s, um, and uh, you know, the lead, uh, the lead vocalist and writer um, really worshiped Nirvana, so you can hear a little bit of that in there, but it's a little poppier than Nirvana. And uh, next is uh, Toro Y Moy. Um, this is a pretty rare seven inch leave everywhere with first date on the B side. This is really great music. This reminds me of like affected, fucked up surf music. A little bit of Beach Boys, but it's fucked up. Again, Toro Y Moy with Cloud Nothings on the flip. Another rare seven inch. And then um, a, a band I love and I've shown I think already on VC is Super Drag. This is N.A. Kicker and Diane on wonderful blue marble, like baby blue. And last but not least, save the best for last uh, on the recents, a band by the name of This Heat. The band This Heat, and this album is their last one in their second full length and last called The Seat. This is the back. This is a first UK press, really hard to come by, and not cheap. What a great album this is. Um, this is uh, a mixture of jazz, post-punk, uh, rock, alternative, but definitely one of the first post-punk jazz fusion albums ever. This is actually 1981, believe it or not. You check this out, you won't believe it. Um, you'll listen to it and say, geez, this was released in 81? I can't believe it. Um, there's band members from uh, Roxy Music in this. Uh, 
Also, Quiet Sun kind of turned into this band. Um, the singer and drummer from Quiet Sun uh, started up this heat. And they also have a self-titled album. Uh, these were actually, this album and the self-titled album were actually reissued recently, I believe a year or two ago. Um, but this is the first press. But definitely seek it out, especially the first press, you will not be disappointed. <coughs> this is a concept album um, based on nuclear war um, and how bleak the world, you know, the, the vision of the world was and, and where we were headed. And from start to finish, um, this is, uh, you know, from basically takes you from sleeping quietly in your bed to nuclear, all out nuclear war and, and death. It's pretty cool and bleak, but you'll like it. It's very explosive. And here is the, the actual album. Definitely seek this out. This Heat, Deceit. This Heat, and the name of the album is Deceit. Well, everyone, um, I got this done in under 20 minutes, so thanks for watching as always. Uh, I will try to post a few more. Um, I've just been very busy, so, um, but definitely stay tuned and look for more. Thanks for watching as always.